You should come along one week. I want uh, you should come along and join in what I do. I was thinking about this the other night. I'd love that. All of you should come along. Oh. I'd love that. I really would. And we'll just do a session that I normally do and mm. we see how everybody gets on. Some will be better than me, obviously, but others, Dominic, will not be as good. A lot of people question why you need a trainer, but I think trainers are good if you just can to afford push it. You. It pushes you out of your comfort zone. It's discipline, isn't it? Because otherwise you could just go home and go, oh, I can't be bothered today. Yeah, and, you wouldn't do anything. and it's once a week. That's all I've got. I've got, I've got the trainer once a week and I do the rest of... I train five days a week. Yeah. Um, one of the days a week, I just train with him. One of the five is with him. And he just makes me do stuff in the gym that mm. I don't normally do. And the rest, I can run and walk and do weights and set up some press-ups at home on my own. That's all fine. But, you know, bench presses and all that stupid stuff. But the other thing as well is that if, if we have a weigh-in today as well. No, next next Tuesday. Okay. So only, only once every two weeks. Because that's a good thing as well, is if you've got a regular weigh-in, then you have a goal because you don't want to, for example, on a Saturday or Sunday night prior to the weigh-in, you don't want to think that actually when I get weighed, I'm going to be heavier than last week. So it's a, it's a discipline, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of. Plus I found some really, really lightweight shorts. What does that mean? <laughs> it's just a joke. Oh, I see. It's supposed to be those heavy shorts. Oh, you know, when you get on the scales? Mm, you feel them full of rocks. Yeah. yeah. You know, when I put weight on and I'm trying to persuade the trainer that I'm wearing, you know, special one stone shorts. Yeah. They're really heavy. They've got, they've got built in weights. Weights and, and they're full of water and fish and rocks. And That's they, right. They I wear shorts that are full of fish. Weigh a ton. Anyway, back to the tedious link. How was it? It was all right. Was it seamless? Oh, sorry, am I supposed to answer that? Was it seamless? Yeah, I think so. All right, good. Dave's Tedious Link. Dave, this is Tom from McFly, and that tedious link was absolutely rubbish. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Got love there. Dave, it's Rihanna, and that tedious link was rubbish. Right. Oh, dear. Dave, it's Kanye. That tedious link was rubbish. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hello there, Dave. It's Mark from Take That. Hello, Mark. That tedious link was rubbish. Hello, Dave, Mark. it's Jason from Take That. Mate, that tedious link was absolutely bobbins. Dave, it's Richard Ashcroft. That tedious link was crap. E1 of light. Yeah. Dave, it's Dizzy Rascal. That tedious link was rubbish. Dave, it's Agnes D. That tedious link was a bit rubbish, wasn't it? Brett from Burberry. Brett from Burberry with Agnes D. Dave, this is Gok Wan. That link was terrible, but you're fit, so it's okay. Dave, it's Lady Gaga. That tedious link was rubbish. You know, all the stars love to take part in this feature. Don't Every, they? All the biggest stars in the world. Mm. Dave, it's Steve Gutenberg. That tedious link was rubbish. There you go. Like Thank you, Steve. Dave's tedious link. Like I said, all the stars. Do you think I should take him out of my phone on the basis that I will never realistically ring him? I think you should ring him. Ring him. Oh, keep I, it in there. It's call funny. him. Stephen Guttenberg, call him. I just like the fact that I sometimes very nearly call him because he's next to another Steve that I call regularly. But do it. What, call him? Just call him one day, say okay. hi. I was about to delete you, but I thought I'd call you. Mm. If he doesn't answer, delete him if he does. Okay. Oh, listen, in interesting news, Alad. Yeah. Close your eyes, come here and smell me. Oh, okay. Hang on then. This is interesting. What, what, a, what a view that is. Where am I? Am I close? Down, down, down a bit. Okay, okay, forward. This looks so wrong. Oh, forward. This looks so wrong. That smells kind of nice. What are you it? getting? A, a nice odour. Yeah. What is it? It's different, isn't it? It's not don't, links. Don't tell me you've moved on from links. It's I officially have a new scent. Wow. No way! You've stunk of Lynx Africa for 12 years. Do you want to smell me? Not particularly. Honestly, it's nice. If you were a girl, you'd find it irresistible. But, but, not you, just but you, you've been keeping Lynx in business. Come and smell me. I don't want to smell I'll, you. I'll come to you. It's okay. Fincham can smell you. Know you. It's not even just that. It's I the mound you put on, Dave. Don't. Oh, dude. Good, isn't it? Yeah, it smells like orange. Oh, no, that's another thing. Oh. Because... <laughs> I also, yes, I noticed it. I smell of mango today because I bought <laughs> I bought a new um, uh, body, wash. body wash yesterday and I didn't actually look at the flavour. I just liked it because it was orange. Uh, and it was in a well-known uh, chemist shop. It sounds a bit like footwear. And so I smell... Sandals. I, I smell of mango today. But I have got a new scent as of the weekend. How? How did you get a new scent? Bear let, in mind that you would not be... You would never cheat on links. Let me tell you. This is what happened. Because on Saturday... I flew up to Scotland because me and Chavez were gigging in Dundee. And because they have the 100 milliliter rule on planes, right. I wasn't able to take through my regular okay. deodorant. And in right. this well-known chemist store, 
they the only ones that they had in mini- Wellingtons? No. Right. The only ones that they had in miniature forms were there was a very small selection. I thought, well, hey, I will try that one. Is it a known brand? Yes, it is a known brand. I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want to advertise. Alan, do you want to smell me? Yeah, okay. Okay. I'm still on the same. Well, I've, I've slightly changed, but it's still essentially the same. Hmm. See, it's you, you. You're right. Yours is very subtle. Yeah, it's unscented. Unscented. Well, there you yeah. go. Mm. Two, three, um, I well, like thanks the fact. For my armpit. I like the fact that Dave calls his deodorant his scent, whereas yeah. most people would put perfume or you know cologne or something. Yeah. Dave's. Per- perfume or cologne. Mm. That's right. That's what I put on in the morning. I, you know, yeah, when I get you... out of the shower, I go. Should I have the perfume or should I go for my? I was going cologne? male or female. I uh, I I wear unscented deodorant, and then I because I don't want it to clash mm. with my aftershave. Right now, you see, I I skip out. I don't really understand aftershave. I never really have done. So this is why this is my new to make scent. you smell nice. I know, but you don't need that when you smell as good as I do today. Well, you do because you, the last twelve years you've stank of Lynx Africa. Anyway, it's something of a change. I feel more sophisticated. No. And talk about marketing working because whoever made these little miniature ones to actually take on planes, if you like, it was a sample. Try me size. I tried it. I liked it. I bought a full size can yesterday. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tell, tell you what, talking about marketing, we've been I've been sent some stuff upstairs. I think this is due to my burgerlet conversation yesterday. <laughs> I made a, an omelette with burger. I've been sent a box of eggs. Wow. Do you know how many that is? Six. Now that's a carton of eggs. Mm. Oh, what's a box? A box full of cartons of eggs. Oh no. So if you get six eggs in a carton, I've been sent a box full of cartons of eggs. I don't know who it's from. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. But in mind, I'm going straight to the gym after this. And I don't think the trainer will be massively pleased if I walk in. What have we got there? And I'm like that. Lots of eggs. It's your protein sorted well, for this yeah, week. For the next year. But anyway, so if anybody wants an egg, can you text in 81199 and start your text the word egg? How will you get that box home? I, I'll leave it well. If you trip over, you'd make yourself into your own omelette. By the way, I feel the need to say we can't actually send you an egg, so don't text him. Oh, no, I didn't say we're going to send you an egg. I said if you'd like an egg. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> I never actually said we'd send it. <laughs> That's all right, I can do that, can I? Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. Anyway, I just thought I'd share my news with you. <laughs> Time to musk up. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. So girls, girls have to be careful how close they get to me. It's dangerous. Sure. I'm just trying to find uh, Vernon Kay's always got the um, the Anchorman mm. clips on his website. 60% of the time, it works every time. All right, that's it. That's one of them. Oh, God. How come I found this the other day? Didn't I have it? I was playing it. I found this for some reason. Gonna find my baby, gonna hold her. <laughs> Grab some afternoon delight. My motto's always This means nothing to you, does it? It doesn't actually. Why no. wait until the middle of a cold, dark night? When everything's a little clearer in the light of day. And we know the night is always gonna be here anyway. <laughs> Time to musk up. Thinking of he's working up my Anchorman. Vernon's. Vernon's obsessed with Anchorman. Mm, And this is like a big part of the movie. I did not know that, Fincham. They look at it as like we're insane. (laughs) 